Hey up lads and lasses, Danfire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. So today we are carrying on with the graphic stuff, sorry this has taken a bit longer than I wanted it to, but the IL devs literally just dumped so much information last week that I had to cover that the, the whole graphics look and stuff uh, has been sort of bit on a back burner and then I had the weekend off because I recorded like every single day last week and yeah that plus work was uh, was quite bad anyway let's jump into it we have done the frigates and destroyers so far we then have the cruisers to look at and I actually do have I think all of the cruisers here uh, I'm missing obviously a couple of the variants and stuff but I've got most of them and I can even show off the IO maxed and I know that's a, a favourite of a lot of people's um, ships. So we'll start off with the Connemara and yeah it, it, it looks pretty good. I mean it looked pretty good before so I don't actually notice much difference with the uh, Connemara. Um, like at all it is a really cool looking ship though and yeah definitely I, I, I do like the Connemara it's just similar thing to the IO though and I think the fact that it's quite similar to the IO um, is a little bit of a letdown but I, you know understand the idea is it's a giant bloody railgun um, so yeah it, it kind of makes sense like the UNSC ships uh, that frigate they got that has the, the giant gun and well that is just a flying flying giant gun this is the same sort of uh, concept here but yeah definitely pretty cool and uh, I don't think there is any difference between this and the plasma bar the front section yeah the front section has some weird whatever they're meant to be I'm, guess, they, they, I'm guessing they are some kind of turret or something like that. It's, I just think they, they look a bit weird. Uh, so there you go. Uh, Connemara Chaos, the plasma especially, really damn good as well because you've got the additional propulsion. It's you know not on front row, so it does actually outperform the IO even though it's got less damage. Uh, we then have the Chimera. Uh, very, very cool. Again, we've looked at the Aldebra, which is like the baby brother of this thing, and there's not much to say about it the turrets look fantastic you got your missile launchers down this side uh i have got the heavy cannon so we can have a quick look at that and have a look at the giant cannons down the back instead of the missiles but yeah otherwise pretty cool the uh the texture and stuff definitely look really good on all the noma ships it's a, it's a shame that you just can't zoom in a bit more on some of them would be really good so there we go that is the chimera and the heavy cannon we'll have a quick look so it has some giant turrets on that right hand side now instead of the missile launcher which is also pretty cool i mean they're, they're pretty big cannons so unfortunately don't have the defensive which would show off you know some of these armored sides and structures and what have you the light cone, this was shown off in one of the pictures, I believe. And yeah, it's just, it does look good. It looks far better now in this version than it does in um, the previous, uh, with the slightly lower graphics. It, there was something about it, it looked kind of goofy. It still looks a bit goofy, but it's by far not as bad as it used to be. Um, I mean, I don't understand the purpose of having these protrudy bits on it at all. Um, they just kind of don't make any sense to me. Like, you know, the Xeno's got them, but the Xeno's got them as docking points for its UAVs. And it feels like, oh, we'll build this. So it looks like the Xeno and it keeps it within the family. But then the Xeno had a purpose for them. And this doesn't bar, you know, slapping some thrusters on, which could have been, you know, completely flat sticking out the side or sticking up. Um, as opposed to at a jaunty angle. But otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. And we have the AA variant. We can see we lose a couple of the missiles and stuff here. Uh, otherwise, pretty much the same. And then we have the assault where we gain an extra missile uh, launcher. 
and but otherwise they are all pretty much identical. I think you get the extra missile. Yeah, it's there, isn't it? The extra missile launcher. The Callisto. I only got the base one of this because the game hates me. Does it want to give me the heavy torque version? But yeah, this is another one that I think looks really nice. It's all the Jupiter ships just look so damn clean um, in comparison to before. Like all the textures and stuff are just like really nice and clean. Just looks really cool. This kind of reminds me like. Uh, I want to say it's Star Citizen. They've got a hauler. Like, I think they call it the Hull Sea or something like that. It really reminds me of that because of the way these things sort of stick out. You could expect these to be like giant cargo containers that like detach and then something comes and grabs them instead of uh, torpedoes. So that's the Callisto. We then have uh, the Jaeger. Again, Jaeger looking nice in its Antonios blue colour. I unfortunately have the heavy cannon variant of this, which uh, I'm sure would look pretty cool as well, because it'll have the... I'm guessing the heavy cannons. I've never personally actually seen one in-game. I guess they swap the... Uh, the Corvette docking points for the heavy cannons. But yeah, another really cool ship. Uh, I've only literally got on that this server, so <laughs> good thing I managed to get it before this video even. Uh, we then have the Predator, one of my favorite looking ships in the game because it just looks it looks like it does the purpose it was built for more so than a lot of other ships. You can tell just by looking at this that this is a carrier. And it has no other purpose than just that. So yeah, looks really good. You've got the nice hangers coming down the side. I quite like the angle of those hangers as well. Might try and recreate this ship in Space Engineers one day when I get bored. And yeah. Let's have a quick look around. Nice little thruster emplacement on this. I love how the bottom sort of comes down at this angle. You got your command bridges and conning towers and stuff up there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, don't have the tactical because it's been on 20% since season two yeah my phase two server i got 20 percent now on like phase seven uh the io this is sort of the the base io uh you know not upgraded because i only run the siege at the current moment because i just don't find a use for cruisers uh, at all which is a bit unfortunate really but yeah pretty cool I like how it's uh, sort of side thrusters, uh, which are used for, you know, aiming the ion cannon up front, uh, aren't sort of like always constantly burning like the rear ones here. Nice placement though. I heard there was actually bug with the uh, thruster placement on this, but I never saw it. Yeah. Do like this paint job on it as well. It does look good in white as well. <laughs> Just, I happen to have this one. Uh, and then I will show off, uh, I mean, the anti-ship's pretty much identical. I'll show off the Siege, which I have fully upgraded. So you can see you have the additional uh, armor sections coming down over the sides, which is a nice touch. Although I kind of prefer the, the other version. It's got a little bit more detail about it because, you know, there's a bit more of exposed structure and stuff, which uh, I think looks a bit cooler. But there you go. There is the IO. We then have the CAS. Again, this is actually one of my favorite locking ships. It just looks like it's built for purpose. Nothing particularly special about it. 
Although, I do wonder what this bit here is meant to be for. Seeing as it is a broadside ship, you know, having the torpedoes this side makes sense because you're using this side as its sort of armoured section. So this would probably have been better off on this side uh, as like an additional armour section. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why they didn't, wouldn't have designed it like that. But we got giant cannons on top, including a couple of small anti-air ones. You got its nice big large torpedo launcher on the side. Got pretty cool thruster emplacement in my opinion as well. Yeah. It's very this this looks very military to me in comparison to a lot of other ships, which look a lot more sort of industrial. Uh, don't have any of the other types of casts. Apparently, uh, they've you know season one. I got a couple of percentage of the casts, and that was it. Have all of the KCCPVs, including the pulse and the rail. Uh, I hate this ship with a passion. It's just so ugly. <laughs> I, I I don't know what it is about the KCCV. I I, I just don't like it. It's, it's like too boxy. I hate this section here where you have like this flat that just joint jaunts, like jaunts upwards, and then you got the bridge just sat on top of it. This is, you know, the standard version, the light rail gone there. It gets worse when you get to like the pulses and stuff. I mean, it's basically the same ship, but now it's got a giant pulse cannon underneath it. Great. Oh, how about the railgun? Yeah, we just slapped a bigger railgun underneath it. You can actually see inside of that. Check that out. Very cool. Didn't realize you could see inside it. <laughs> and the aircraft variant, which is, yeah. This modular under section where you can just slap on an aircraft hangar, a cannon, or you know, plasma uh, things as well. So that is the KCCPV 2.0. So there we go. That is the cruisers. I'm going to do the battle cruisers and carriers in one video because I don't have. Well, obviously, you want battleships on in the game, so I can't do that. I don't have the auxiliary ships, so I won't be able to cover that. So I'm just going to cover the super caps all in one go, the case, uh, the carriers that I have, because I don't have the Marshall Crooks there either, which is unfortunate, because it's probably one of my favourite looking ships. And I've got all the battle cruisers though. But I'm going to do them in one video, because otherwise the video is going to be far too short. And then I'll do all the fighters and then all the vets or something like that. I was going to do those with the carriers, then I thought about it and it's like there's only two carriers and if we do it that way then there's only four battle cruisers to cover so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you've enjoyed this uh, nice look at some of the new graphics on the new ship models uh, and stuff like that I haven't noticed anything on the cruisers specifically where any of the textures are a bit awkward or look out of place like they do say on the Noma um, so yeah, they've done a pretty good job there. Uh, I kind of wish they just completely redesigned the KCCPV, but you know, that's my personal opinion. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.